Okay, y'all, this is where we ended in part one, so here's part two. But there won't be much of this one because this is all I'm doing is showing the fabric now. I've already showed all the thrift haul. This is a thrift haul of fabrics of part one that was at the end of part one. So if you want to see what these are, you have to go back and watch part one. And there's a whole bunch still got to go. So we're going to have plenty of that to do. Put this on top of there. So, okay, this was the next one. Um, there is no name, is there? Oh, yeah, there is. Town and Country Flannel. That's what it's called. Flannel. That's what it feels like. Uh, flannel by Timbleberries for RJR Fashion Fabrics. There you go. And that's all I have on here. Let's see what the other side. Yeah, the other side doesn't say anything. So, there's that. I have a feeling this fabric was meant for making masks. I bet you. I bet you. Because it's soft and you want to have a mask, you want it to be soft. Oh, and this one's pretty. This one's got art. I would make masks, but I, I don't really <laughs> do well with that, with sewing that like that with a machine. Marcus Brothers Textile Incorporated is where this one came from. It doesn't have another name. I'm going to stretch it all out. Yep, it doesn't have another name. Oh, I should take my shirt, my shirt, my coat off. But it's cold in here. Okay, there's that one. Okay, I'm going to take my coat off. So my jacket ain't in your way. We already looked at these. So I'm going to take these, put these over here too. Okay, now we have these. This one, this one looks like a Christmas print. And the reason why, to those that don't know, the reason why I'm giving them the name of the company that makes it is because that way they can find this print and yes people we do that for each other when we're doing anything dealing with like the fabric you know or the papers because it helps us find it in case that person wants it and this one is called mittens kittens maybe I don't know kittens and mittens from Mary Mallory for Marcus Brothers Textile as well. And then we have this one. Oh, I like the way this feels. This one's really soft. This one almost feels like velveteen, but soft. And there's no name. No! Even I can't figure out where it came from. But I'm not into green that much, so. Yeah, I like the red. <laughs> uh, did I show that up close enough? There you go. Ain't that pretty? Okay. And then there's this up close. That's what it looks like up close. I keep forgetting to show y'all that. From the collection of Judy Rothermel. I'm sorry if I'm messing it up. 1840-1860 uh, I guess is the color. Marcus something. I need to keep that company nearby so I can find it. Marcus Brothers Textile. Marcus Brothers Textile a bit. That's what this one looks like. I already showed you it up close. Here's this one up close. Again, this is called um, flannel. Flannel, I'll remember. Uh, <laughs> I remember. This one is called... Uh, it just says from the for the Marcus Brothers textile. So you'll have to look it up. doesn't have the name or anything. Sorry. Again, that's what this one looks like. If you need to see it up close and take a picture of it for yourself, like a screenshot so you can find it. And then we have the plaid look. It's got a little fuzz on it. <laughs> that's okay. This is what this one looks like. It's real pretty. And there is no name, is there? Oh, yeah, there is. It's right here. Oh, goodness gracious. I can't read it, y'all. It almost blends in. What does it say? Harvest? Or, I guess. Harvest Melody? By Nancy. Her last name starts with an H. I can't really see it. And I'm trying to read where it's from. I can't see it. I can't see that. I'm sorry, y'all. So, just put in her name. Maybe it'll show up. There's that one. And there's this. 
That hurts the eyeballs on the camera, don't it? Sorry. This one's uh, Mum's the Word by Debbie Mum for SSI South Sumna, South So maybe? I don't know. It's cut off. <laughs> yeah, there's that one. And there's this one. Somebody's at my door. And then there's this one. I can't get the door, my husband. Hopefully he's getting the door. He was going to play his video game. I don't see a name. And then we have... Oh, that one's pretty. I'm listening. Okay, and there's this. And there is no name on this one either. That one's pretty. I like that one. There's this one. Very Christmassy. And South. Oh, I can't read that. SouthSeaImports.com. Okay, there you go. SouthSeaImports.com. Um, peace, probably, and something else. So just look for peace on it. And it will probably, you'll be able to find it that way, maybe. Okay. And then we have this one. Oh, is that the inside or the outside? Okay, that's the outside. Kind of looks blurry. Looks like the red one. It's little hearts. Little hearts. This is what it looks like. Might hurt your eyes a little bit. There we go. Just like that. I'm trying to see if there's any marks that tell me where it's from, though. Nope, no marks. Sorry, y'all. And then there's this one. This is a flannel filling one. Just flattening it out so you can see the print. That one's a pretty one. And it is from... Oh, no, it doesn't have a name on that side. Or that side. So I don't know where it's from, y'all. Sorry. And then there's this one. I'm trying to see if that's Redbirds or not. I don't think it is. I don't know what that is. Anyways, maybe on your side you can see what it is. I can't. I'm guessing those are roses, maybe. And this one is called Holly Taylor for Mata. Mata Textiles, I guess. And then there's this one. That one is fall looking slash going into winter time. This one, I'm not sure. It just says Camp Wild, maybe? I don't know what textile or what the name of the company is that they go through, but... And then there's this one. It's almost like checkerboard. This one is called Peace on Earth. Teresa Cowgut. License to SSI, www.southseaimports.com. There's that. Oh, I like this one. And I'm not a green person. I don't really care for greens, but it's got roses on it. Let's open it up and see how much I got on there. That's all I get. And it's so birdie. It's so birdie. There's that one. No name, so... Unfortunately. And then there's this one. It's real pretty. No name. Again, so I can't tell you who. This one is a cotton base. It's not flannel at all. Feels like almost like you could make a scarf out of it. Might have been a scarf and they just turned it into material to use. I don't know the name of the company or anything. 
And this is, looks like it's got holly on a red background. It's called Cozy Cats. There's no cats on there. Why would they call it Cozy Cats? <laughs> anyway, it's called Cozy Cats by Sherry L. Stowe, Stowe licensed at SS, SSI www.southseaports, no, South Sea Imports, right? Yeah, SouthSeaImports.com. And this one is by also SouthSeaImports.com, but I don't see a name on here at all. Yeah, no name of what the name is for this one. But it's Christmassy. And it's at South Sea Imports as well. Uh, we'll just continue on this side. Very flannelly. That one's very vintage looking. Those are the colors for vintage if you ever want to know. When it comes to fabrics. This one is something other patterns rustic CF3983 I guess. All rights reserved on that one as well. Is there another name? Like, nope, oh, that's it. So I don't know the full name of it, just something other pattern rustic. There you go. And then there's this one. I'm not sure if you can see this, like little stars. And this one is called uh, Autumn Reflections for Timeless Treasures Fabrics. Um, it says rustic CF3981. That's all it says. So there you go. There's a lot of that one. Yay. Okay. See, I use these if you didn't know. I also use these not just on the outside, but I use them, I use uh, fabrics on the inside covers of my journals. There's her hair, whoever she is. Is that one of my hairs? Nope, that's not my hair. That's she looks like she has blonde hair. <laughs> I have red hair. Um, no names, no nothing on this one. That's the pattern. Ain't it pretty? That's a good fall one. Very vintagey looking. See, I like to use these kinds like this to make those vintage dresses that I make on card cardboard. Somebody already bought the other one, so that, that's gone. I'll have to make some more to put up. <laughs> oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Is there a name? Let's see. Turn it around so I can read it. Karen Jagrar? I, can't, I don't want to mess that name up, so I'm just going to let you read it. <laughs> Come on, focus. It's trying to grab the background. That's the name. Or Marcus Brothers Textile Incorporated. There you go. That one pretty one that said Karen that I couldn't figure out. The very first one I do believe it was. That's the person's name. And there you go on that one. This one's old because look at the white is even dingy. Let's see. This one is by Karen as well. Karen, that last one I showed you. This is the the pattern. Did I show the pattern of the other one real close? Just in case I didn't. That's the pattern. Ain't it pretty? Okay. And here's this one. It's got little Christmas trees. And this one is by Mum's the Word as well by Debbie. Debbie something. Hang on. Maybe I'll still show you right over here. Debbie Mum. <laughs> for SSI South Sea Imports as well. I got lucky on that one because <laughs> it's a big piece. Okay, almost there, y'all. Oh, another one. That's a bigger piece. I think they really was using them to make um, um, masks. And this one is from Timeless Treasures Fabrics Incorporated. Pat Cabin slash CF3929. So this is called Cabin. It's real pretty. It's very Christmassy, but also very woodsy like. Like if you want to make it, if I want to make a journal for the, like a woodsy journal or something. 
Not sure what those are supposed to be. I guess it's leaves. This one's by Burst of Autumn by Holly Taylor for Mata. And then there's this one. And this one is by Troy Corporation, Riverwood Collection, Nature's Tracks by Debbie Field for Grenda Girls. Girl, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, that one's really cute. That, one, that one's actually old that I just showed. <laughs> And this is really cute. Oh, look at that. This one is by Burst of Autumn by Holly Taylor for Mata as well, but it doesn't tell you the, what is this pattern called. I guess it's called Burst of Autumn. So anyways, there's all those fabrics, y'all. And what I'm going to end up doing is putting these all on a spool. Uh, I have special spools that I actually printed out from Pinterest for myself. They're not meant to be sold. And I will not, you know, post them or anything. Just go on to Pinterest and you'll find them too. Uh, the person gives them away. I use them, the larger ones, for my fabrics. I think that will fit there. Yeah, I, I, I use them to roll my fabrics and make them flat enough that I can sit them in the containers. Yeah. Try to organize these, make it pretty, nice and neat, because my my uh, OCD won't let it be anything else. I love this. I'm going to leave it flat. Oh, come on. Anyways, um, I guess that's it, y'all. So you don't have to watch anymore if you don't want to. I'll do the folding and putting these back in here when I'm done. Um, but yeah, that is the haul for today and yesterday. This is a continuation of yesterday. I mean, of not yesterday, of part one. This is part two of that one. If you want to see the rest of the haul, you have to go and watch part one. And I guess that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, y'all. Please like on these uh, YouTubers. If you don't, it doesn't help their channels grow. Be part of the, you know, help. Be part of the family and help us grow so that we can make more videos like this. Otherwise, we can't afford it, you know. And it's not like I make any money from YouTube, but it does help me get out there and people find my Etsy store too by that way, you know. Anyways, do what you want. It's up to you. Um, but yeah. Liking the videos helps us get noticed on YouTube. Just saying. And um, sharing the videos really helps us get noticed on YouTube and out in the world too as well. But yeah, subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Also give it a like. If you watched this, both videos especially, give it a like. Okay? Because I want to know that at least, you know, people are watching them. Um, what else? Um, if you have any questions... Comment below if you have any questions on the fabric and you didn't hear me. Um, just let me know and I can figure out which one you're talking about. Maybe I can give you the name of the company. If it didn't have a name that I, sh I couldn't find, you know, then, and I didn't tell you it, it's probably because there was no name on it. So anyways, that's all I got to say. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching and y'all have a great day. And I hope you enjoy these resale videos. These, these um, not resale videos. Well, they are resale, but these thrift hauls because I enjoy sharing what I find even if it's just a little bit it's still enjoyable and I love sharing that with you so that you can see if you can find it somewhere you know online or something because you like it too you know I'm, I like to do that so anyways that's enough I'm a jibber jabber if I don't hush up and turn off the video now it'll keep going so I'll talk to y'all later thank you for watching and y'all have a great day and make sure you do some fun thrifting uh, get in your craft room, do some crafting, do whatever it is you like doing, but don't waste your time and not do it at all, you know? It's enjoyable, and your heart's going to be happy tomorrow <laughs> and today. So, bye, y'all. I'm a hush. <laughs>